Hello friends, this is Sam from Sam Munoz Consulting, WordPress developer extraordinaire and creator of the Effortless Website Kits. In today's tutorial, I will be showing you how to adjust the image that is shared on Facebook when you post a blog post or a web page from your website to the platform. So for example, you can see that when we share samanthamunoz.com, there's this great picture that pops up that I have selected and it just makes it so that the link is so much more clickable. And also I have more control over what image is shown when someone shares a link from my website. Every page on my website might have a different image and I will show you in this tutorial how to set that up for yourself. Let's contrast that with a page that does not yet have a specified image. So the, we're going to be using the Alexa Effortless Website Kit in this tutorial. So we'll go to alexawebsitekit.com slash book title. So this does not yet have an image. So you see nothing shows up, right? Okay, so there's two things we're going to want to do. We can do both of them. You can try one of them. Sometimes one works, sometimes the other one works, and sometimes I just like to do both to just cover all the bases. But what you want to do is you want to go over to your WordPress site and go to the page where you want the image to show up. So there's two things we want to do. So come over to adding a featured image. Sometimes this is the only thing you have to do, but sometimes you do have to take the additional steps. So like I said before, I like to just do both to be safe. So when you're going and setting a featured image, I typically, if I'm using Divi, I would use an image that's about 1,000 by 800 pixels. I have this image pre-created. Wow, am I prepared or what? I've created it in Canva and I'm downloading it. And then of course, I'm gonna run through all of my image optimization stuff, right? If you haven't seen that tutorial, definitely check it out. Before you just go and upload this to your website, you should definitely optimize it so that it does not impact your site speed. So I'm gonna go pause this and go do that. Alrighty, so now my image is optimized and I'm ready to upload it. So I'm gonna take it and just drop it right in as the featured image. If I wanted to really maximize my SEO, I would also add some alt text that describes what the image and the page is. I have a whole tutorial on how to use Yoast SEO for your website, so you can check that out as well. You would set it as the featured image, and that's step number one. So now we have a featured image for our page. The other thing you wanna do is using Yoast SEO, you can come down to wherever it's at, go under the social tab, and then find Facebook. As it says here, you could get the Yoast Premium to see you know, what it looks like, but I have a special trick on how to do that without paying for that, so I'll show you that in a minute. So under Facebook image, you can select that exact same image. If you had a one that you wanted to show specifically on Facebook, select that one instead. So choose that, and then we are going to go ahead and update this page. Now here's the thing, if I just try to go back to Facebook and you know, try to retype this in, it's still going to look like this. What we need to do is we need Facebook to re-scrape that page so that it finds the image. And we also need to be able to see what it's going to look like ahead of time before we post it. So what we wanna do is we wanna go over to the Facebook debugger tool. So now I'm here on the debug tool. You can find the link for this in the post information. And now we wanna take the URL for our page and drop it in here. So we can just grab the URL of the page we're trying to share, paste it in here, and then click debug. So now it's gonna rescrape it, make sure we have an image. And here it says this URL has never been shared on Facebook before, because I actually didn't submit this post, that's why it didn't send. But if you had shared it before, you would see all of the old information. So you'd probably see like an old image, or maybe you would see you know, an example of no image at all. So what we're going to do is we're going to click fetch new information. And now what's going to happen is it's going to show the picture that I just specified and all the other information about this page that is pertinent to Facebook. All right. So now you can see exactly what it'll show up like, which is awesome. You can see that the picture that I specified is in there, which is great. It also shows the title and all of this other information. Now, if you wanted to change all of this stuff, what you really want to do is you want to come back into the edit page section and then under Yoast SEO, you'll want to update the title, slug, meta description, all of that information. And you can also go under the social tab and update the Facebook title and Facebook description as well. This is a really granular way to make sure that the way your content shows up on Facebook is exactly how you want it to. It makes you look super professional to actually have a picture there instead of you know a logo or a picture that you didn't choose or none at all. And again, it makes your links way more clickable, which ultimately brings more traffic to your website. And that is how to update the Facebook preview picture for your blog posts and pages for your website. If this video was helpful for you, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up and also please subscribe. I always share tech tutorials and tech tips related to WordPress and your website. See you next time.